I'm doing new consultations today, and young James has uh, just been referred in by his general dentist. Uh, the, the general dentist is concerned that James doesn't have room for his eye teeth, and I can see that. But um, I think what's more important here is James's tongue tight. Can you open really big for me, James, right? Um, now try and lift your tongue. Can everyone see how that tongue can't lift to where it needs to be? Now, people always ask me, how do you measure a tongue tie? There's two ways. You can use Kotlow's measurement. So this is a ruler you can get from this uh, company. They're called Myo Mate. And I like this ruler because you can do a couple of measurements with it. Number one, you can use the vertical or the green to do Kotlow's measurement on tongue tie. And Kotlow's measurement is from the tip of the tongue to where the frenum inserts. So by doing that measurement, you can see that is about 13 millimeters, right? If you want more information, I can send you the Kotlow article so you can see that's an indication for tongue release. Then Audrey Yoon uses this measurement. So that's the orange part of the uh, ruler. And what happens uh, uh, with this measurement, you put the orange part of the ruler on the lower incisors and you ask the patient open really wide. And you can see that his opening there is about 46. Put your tongue up here, okay? Right on the top there if you can. Good, now try and open. And see, as he opens, his tongue can't even stay up there for half the opening. So that's the Audrey Yoon classification uh, for tongue tie. Right? When you're tongue tied, watch what happens when you swallow. Just swallow for me. You have this sort of tongue thrust, right? Just one more swallow, thank you, yeah. So we wanna deal with the lower frenum, but the upper frenum, everyone gets excited about. Can you see, this is a normal frenum. Right. Frenum on the labial needs to attach sort of um, on the mucogeneal junction. When I push this frenum, it's not blanching. Right? Uh, so even though there's a diastema there, I don't think that's contributing. So that's the ruler that I'd suggest you use. Um, the orange is the Audrey Yoon classification. The green is for Kotlow. The benefit also, you can use this for measuring uh, TMJ problems because that gives you a range of motion. His is normally, he's got a healthy jaw joint. So just please ensure when you see a new patient for an examination for their teeth, um, you also assess their frenum, uh, particularly their tongue tie, because it may not affect speech, but it will affect dental development. And it has been linked, as you know, and I can send you papers in this regard, uh, on sleep apnea. So children who are tongue-tied have more chance of uh, obstructive sleep apnea as they get older, another indication for early release.